The DS7000 series digital oscilloscope can be equipped to perform protocol analysis on a number of different serial bus protocols. These include RS232, UART, I2C, SPI, CAN, LIN, FlexRay, I2S, MIL standard 1553. It can also perform further analysis with the built-in event table, search and navigate. And finally, with the instrument can also incorporate the zone trigger to either exclude or include part of the serial signal. To start off with, I've already set up the scope to be triggering on and then decoding a pretty basic SPI signal. And what we've got is we've got our trigger menu on the right hand side of the screen and then we've also got our decode bus in green here. And really what this is the show is we've got our SPI trigger set up, but we can also use a couple other triggers as well. So if we say go into the one touch menu and we change from drag to draw, I can then set up a zone trigger. And with the zone trigger, I can set it up so it's only triggering on when the signal's either intersecting it, or I can turn it on so it's not intersecting. And this can be actually rather useful for excluding parts of your serial, de your serial signal. Next, I'm going to show you a couple of the other advanced features of the decode menu. To do this, I'm first going to turn off our zone trigger. And then if I go into our decode menu, I've already set up our decode to be on decode 1, and we've got our SPI and everything. And then if I go into display, this is where you actually change your format on the decode bar itself, but I can also turn on the event table. And then if I were to scale out, start getting a little bit more decoded data, I can then also change the format on our event table to be the same as what we had on before. So let's go with ASCII. And then what we can see here on our event table is the actual packets going through. And then this time is actually correlated so it's time off of our first trigger point. And we can go down and we can scroll through and see the data change. We can also then go into the event table and change over to the payload, which is another useful means of viewing the data. And it's actually rather effective for if you're looking at a long bit stream. You can easily look at a rather long bit stream and compare it to what you believe should be coming out of your serial device. Another way that we can view the serial data with the oscilloscope is by using the search function. And once we turn on the search menu, what we're seeing up here at the top of our screen is little white triangles along with a red one. And the white ones are basically indicating our different trigger points on the SPI bus. And the red ones indicating our current one that we're fixed at. And actually it's also highlighted on our marker table. And where this is valuable is say if we stop the instrument and we then select one, we'll move to it on the screen. And then if we use this, the marker table in conjunction with our zoom mode, we can then zoom in on the data so we can jump around on the signal. And this can be really useful for decoding a long bit string. While using the protocol analyzer, the oscilloscope can easily trigger on or exclude signals by using the zone trigger in conjunction with the serial trigger. You can easily display the decoded data by using the event table in conjunction with the on-screen decoded signal. Finally, the instrument can easily navigate through the serial signal by using the search and navigate function. If you have any questions about this product or family of products, please contact us at Regal or visit regalna.com for more details.